Okay, so firstly I apologise, this, uh, this video has been a long time coming, probably three or four weeks past when I normally do it. I try and do a video every two weeks um, when I'm doing a series. Uh, fortunately, very, very busy. Uh, sometimes life gets in the way. But anyway, I found some time this afternoon, finished work early, which is excellent. So today I'm going to install all the gears on the side of our uh, groomer here. Um, once I've installed the gears, I've actually also uh, finally uh, purchased a, a new Briggs & Stratton engine. So I'm also going to mount that up there today, put the uh, clutch on there as well. So we'll start with the gears, uh, then we'll install the chains, uh, and then we'll go the engine and the clutch. So there's really not a great deal to this. Uh, all the All the gears do go in particular spots. Uh, once you've got them in a particular spot, uh, you cannot really balls up the chains. They're all sort of different lengths and sizes, so um, it's pretty self-explanatory, really. Anyway, let's get into it. So here we go. Alright, so the, I'll talk through the first one. Uh, so we've got a woodroof key. Woodroof key will go inside the shaft. So each one of these shafts have a woodroof key. Um, that just slips into the little cutout. Once you've got that, uh, you'll install your gear. So the gear's got a keyway in it. The gearway, uh, the gearway lines up with the woodroof key. Slip that over there. That prevents the, the, the gear from rotating on the shaft, basically. Um, once you've managed to do that, uh, we actually, so your intermediate clutch here, so this is the part with the cork, uh, and the part that the cork goes against, so that goes like that. These do have bearings in them. Uh, this bearing I never actually removed when I stripped down the mower. Uh, I don't believe my bearing is in bad enough condition which weren't a, a, a replacement. So that is the original bearing there. You can see it, it runs smoothly, it feels fine. So that stain, we are replacing the gear in the, the drive clutch. Uh, so basically that's this bearing here. So I will push that into there. Once you push that into there, this actually goes onto our intermediate clutch like so. Okay, so you can see I've installed uh, these three gears up here. I've uh, put the woodruff key in there, uh, the washer and the nut. I've tightened all the nuts. Um, now we're going to do the intermediate clutch. So I'm going to basically do as much as that I can off the mower and then I'll store it onto the mower. Um, I've pressed that bearing into this half already. It's just a matter of me now pressing that onto the bracket, like so. Uh, once I've done that, then it's just a matter of installing this bolt, which basically goes through the whole thing, holds it all together. Uh, and then there's two bolts here and here, which will hold this bracket onto the mower. So, here we go. All right, so, uh, finally, I've got this together. So there was, uh, a great deal of difficulty in doing that. I don't know why. Um, the bearing wouldn't go in quite so easy as I expected. There was a lot of uh, bashing and, and swearing going on. Uh, so I didn't actually film that, or well, I did, but I've edited, edited that out. Uh, anyway, we've got that together. Hopefully I didn't break it in the process of doing that. Uh, what's going to happen is the other side of the clutch half. Uh, now you see inside here there's a uh, small pin so that pin has to line up with the keyway in the bracket. So 
slips down like that. Once we've got that, we've got our bolt and washer goes through the front. This will go through the mower, so it goes through this hole here. The other side of that's going to have our uh, drive lever uh, and then a nylock nut on the other side. So nice and simple. Okay, so because this is a solid, this solid, um, they don't have a, uh, they don't have a bracket welded up here on the rail. Uh, so the solid, you actually have to bolt on your uh, uh, cable holder, basically. So this will sit in here, and that's actually the bolt that the intermediate clutch will rest on. So uh, if you've got a twin, I don't believe you have this bracket at all, I'm, I'm positive it's welded onto the mower uh, but because I've got a solid one thing to note is don't forget that because I've done that in the past and it's such a bum Alright, so finally I've got that on there. Uh, as you can see, I've put this bolt through here. I've only tightened it up loosely. So this gear should be able to spin freely. Uh, how this operates is uh, once you pull your lever, it actually pulls weight on that the uh, lever bracket at the back, uh, which then pushes this gear in, cut, in, in, in contact with the, the um, clutch cork. Uh, that will grab and then in turn you will uh, propel forward because it's connected to your rear roller so uh, let's put the chains on once we've got the chains on there we can get some sort of tension on them uh, once we've got some sort of tension on there we'll mount the motor Okay, so I've got all their chains up there. Uh, they're all very loose still. Uh, I've done that on purpose. Uh, next, we need to install our chain tensioner. So our chain tensioner is going to go through this bolt hole here. Uh, this being a solid, we need to install our chain cover bracket at the same time. So that's quite simple. It goes through uh, the bracket for the chain tensioner. I do actually plan on replacing this with a uh, an upgraded version that George uh, at SB Fabrication and Parts offer. Uh, I just haven't actually placed that order yet. So once I do that, I'll, this will actually be coming off. Uh, but for the sake of this video, we're going to reuse the original one, which is in actually very good condition. It's it's probably got a good good lifespan left on it. So anyway. Uh, as you can see, our bracket, chain tensioner, bolted on. Like so, so don't worry too much about the chain tightness just yet. Uh, that will actually all change once you install your engine. Um, if you get them all right now, as soon as you uh, move your PTO shaft here, so see there how it's going up and down. Uh, it will actually loosen or tighten your chain. So wait until you've got your engine on there. Uh, once this shaft is in a, uh, a fixed position, no longer going to move, uh, that's when you uh, tension your, tension your uh, chains. So this bracket here, basically when you tighten, when you do eventually um, tension these chains here, you want to make sure that your drive chain at the bottom is not loose like so. Uh, and then your reel to drive train 
uh, chain is also not too loose. So basically that bracket that it's mounted on has to sort of go at a 45 degree angle upwards. So you pull it, uh, pull it this way, and then at the same time you need to raise that up so this chain here uh, gets some tight and uh, tension on it. Like so. so I mean that can be a little bit tricky. I have some. Sometimes I have uh, problems doing that myself. Um, it's much easier once it's all ready to be tensioned, uh, opposed to doing it too early. So none of these chains have got uh, grease on them. That is a must. Uh, this is just what I use. So it's just a extreme performance grease. It's, I don't know. There's really nothing to it. It's just grease. So. The more grease, the better. Uh, greasy bearings, greasy chains, grease, oil, lube, everything. Uh, the more grease, the longer your mower's gonna last. So let's put the uh, engine up there. Once we've got the engine up there, we'll uh, tighten our change and then we're very, very close. Um, yeah. Okay, so here is our brand new Briggs & Stratton engine. Uh, brand new straight from small engine warehouse. I purchased this online. Uh, if you're a member of the Scott Bonner Restorations group on Facebook, you actually do get a discount. Uh, you just go to the Scott Bonner Restorations page, do a search for it, you'll find it. Uh, as part of that, uh, the group, I suppose you will receive a one litre bottle of engine oil. So currently no engine oil in the in the engine. Uh, I'll put that in once I've got it on the mower. Uh, and I believe you get free delivery as well. I don't think I paid, paid for de delivery, which is uh, also nice. So rocks up straight to your door, ready to go basically. So excellent. Um, this is a 5 8 shaft so you'll see here this shaft is 5 8 you can get it in a 3 quarter shaft so if you are in ordering an engine just be careful of the size of the shaft that you are purchasing uh, and that's all determined by your clutch half so my clutch half is a 5 8 hole if I had 3 quarter simply it just would not push on to the shaft you would have to and uh, change your either change your clutch half or change your motor. So it's not a great deal to this. We do need a cotter pin for this uh, clutch. So I've purchased a brand new one of those, uh, an engine key that will slot into the keyway, which is underneath here. Just here we've got a keyway, so our engine key will slot on slip into there with a bit of persuasion uh, and then we've got a, a wood drift key so this wood drift key is actually a bigger size than what is on your reels and all your gears so this will go up here uh, don't forget that that's pretty important as well um, make sure that's in once you've got everything in place it's just a matter of sliding it onto the mower so here we go This is our cotter pin, so I'm going to pop that in there now. So see this hole here? We'll slip it down there. Hopefully it fits. Unfortunately, it does not fit. So basically I've got paint in my hole and uh, it won't easily slide in. So I will fish the paint out. Once I've done that, that should slide in nice and easy. Okay, so I've cleaned, uh, cleaned out the hole in my uh, clutch. I've put some uh, lube, or grease, not lube, grease on the uh, cotter pin. I'm gonna slide that in now, like so. Make sure that the cotter pin is lined up correctly. Like so. Once we've done that, we'll slide this onto our engine. Ensuring that uh, 
your engine has got the engine key in there. If it doesn't air, you'll be pulling it back off. So, right, once we've done that, we are now going to mount it up onto the mower. Um, so I've got my woodruff key and my PDO shaft uh, and I've put some grease on there. I've lubricated inside this hole as well so hopefully everything will just slide together nice and easy. Alright, so now we've got that mounted up there, it's just a matter of our four bolts, so our four bolts go through the engine here, one, two, three, four, 